Hello, I'm Lindsay at I Pull The Pin, and tomorrow I'm gonna to be taking part in my first ever Audax ride. So an Audax ride, or a randonnée, it's not a race, but it is a long distance cycling event. There is a fixed time limit in which you have to complete that distance. Um, and whether you stop for a coffee, whether you stop for a cake, all those important stops, the clock is still ticking. So you do have to be mindful of the time that you have to complete the event. And there are a number of mandatory checkpoints along the way where, do you, where you'd either get your brevet card stamped, um, you might have to get a receipt from a local business, or there may be a question that you have to answer that you can only answer when you're in the location of the checkpoint. So a bit of fun and games uh, to break up the distance. Uh, so not only am I gonna be having a bash at my first ever Audax tomorrow, I am gonna be attempting my longest ever ride. Uh, the route is 203 kilometres and 1,750 metres of elevation. Um, I've got a two and a half kilometre ride from the hotel to the start line uh, and back again at the end of the day. Maybe not looking forward to that bit. Um, and I'm going to pop the, all the details of the route in the comments below um, so you can check it out after you've seen the video. Um, it's called Benjamin Allen Spring Tonic. That's the official Audax name hosted by Mark Rigby and Black Sheep Events. Um, if you want to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Really looking forward to having you along with me, so let's go! morning it is five to six I have just woken up and had a coffee I'm just cooking up some porridge um, for breakfast so it is 7 a.m. just making my way to the start rookie error I have uh, didn't check my garment last night and the route hasn't synced properly so it looks like uh, I'm gonna be navigating with my phone which is not ideal for nine hours but uh, you'd think I would have learned after I'd had loads of problems with my Garmin recently, but no. So, never mind. It is what it is. Well, I've had a bit of a bumpy start with some technology, as always. Uh, just figuring out where I'm meant to be. I think I'm sorted, but yeah, I've lost maybe five minutes, but uh, everyone's everyone's zoomed off <laughs> so uh, yeah very male dominated field I've seen about three women um, on the plus side no queues for the toilets but um, yeah I'm gonna get going now and uh, hope have a good ride so maybe spoke too soon on the tech uh, I've put my earpiece in, so I'm going to have to navigate using commute audio. Making good progress, I think I'm about 8k from checkpoint 1. It's starting to get very windy, but I knew this stretch. And then on to checkpoint 2, it's going to be pretty blowing. And it's just starting to rain, so hoping I can make it to the checkpoint before I get too wet. Just set off uh, from checkpoint one, heading down uh, from Lemster uh, west towards Hay on Wye. Um, this is the headwind stretch, so I've got about 40k directly into the 20 mile an hour winds today. So this is head down, get the work done, get to the lunch stop. Let's go. I'm out of checkpoint two. Had some lunch. Uh, 
uh, I'm not feeling great. Got stomach ache, got bad back ache, and I'm still questioning my belief over whether I'm going to get this thing finished. It's 70 miles, about 120 days to go. Yeah, struggling. I've been dreaming of a bus shelter for ages just to get out the wind for a minute but there's no seat <laughs> so I can't have a sit down I'm just gonna have a quick stretch and loosen off my right shoe because my foot is starting to go a bit numb um, and it's looking very 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 grey like it's not far off rainy so just trying to get my head down and get the miles done before it pisses it down basically about 4k to checkpoint three. Oh, I don't know how I feel like I'm ready for a break but more optimistic that I'm gonna finish. Uh, yeah tough section no wind but a lot of dirt tracks uh, starting to flag so I need to concentrate quite a lot now but all good. <laughs> right, all set to leave, checkpoint three. We've got 45 kilometres left. The lights are on on the bike. We are ready for some night riding as it's, I think it's just coming up to five o'clock. So I don't know how much light I've got left, but not much. I'm in good spirits. I've just had some cheese on toast. Uh, let's get this thing finished. Woohoo! That's my first century ride of the year, 2022. Fifth one of all time. And that means broken the back of this thing and I'm finally believing it's possible feeling pretty good I think I'm getting a third wind uh, maybe something to do with the cheese on toast flapjack and handful of jelly babies in the last half an hour uh, but yeah 108 miles uh, 18 to go Well, this was not the time for my front light to run out of charge. Uh, I've just connected it to my power pack. Got about six miles to go and I'm on the darkest lane. So I'm gonna put my light on my phone. I'm gonna to have to take it really steady now. So all packed up and ready to leave. Uh, what is the verdict? Well, I've had an amazing time. It was a really challenging day in terms of the distance and the weather, but doing it in a community of other cyclists um, made such a difference with trying to push myself on the distance. Um, it made a real change, not being the only sweaty, dishevelled cyclist rocking up at a coffee shop. <laughs> and it was great to meet some other people, ride with some people and have some people to talk to at the checkpoint. So uh, really recommend it, give it a go. Um, and I will definitely be back.